grown-ups visit their old playing field and discover it's changed a lot since they were kids. As Gil Reyes reports, there's much more to do at Daniel's Field in San Pedro. This is actually the first batting cage we've had here in San Pedro. So again, uh, elevating our commitment to our youth. Batting as a switch hitter, San Pedro Councilman Joe Buscaino takes practice swings at this park's new batting cage. Daniels Field, his park since childhood, has also just added a golf driving range cage and an extended sports complex for basketball, futsal, and volleyball. For those who grew up playing baseball here, it's a chance to revisit childhood, but with many more options. Whether it was caroms or watch baseball games or football in the old uh, Midtown Little League uh, fields, we used to play all the time here, so it's nice to be able to come back. I brought my son with me as well. The boys and Girls Club partnered with the city to complete renovations in 18 months. The Boys and Girls Club has hosted all kinds of youth programs here for half a century. Music lessons and the after-school tutoring program known as College Bound has helped boost high school graduation rates for area students. Uh, generations have come here and achieved their potential uh, when otherwise they might have uh, been left to go home alone after schools. We are so thankful and appreciative of the San Peter Boys and Girls Club that for 50 years uh, they've been here. And expected to be here for many more years with more ways to play. In San Pedro, Gil Reyes for LA This Week. Daniels Field Sports Complex serves some 700 young people from L.A. South Bay.